this video we're going to generate the graph of uh, cosine. Let's just have a look to see do that. Now cosine we've got to remember is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So again we've got the unit circle we've sort of mapped it over the London eye here. So this distance here will be 1. All right so instead of measuring the uh, horizontal distance now we're going to measure the Sorry, the vertical distance, we're going to measure the horizontal distance. So this distance here on the graph will be represented by this on the cosine graph because at zero, cosine is actually, of zero, is it actually equal to one? And what we can see is, is right, if this is my right angle triangle, Right, this distance here represents the cosine of the graph. Okay, so this distance here is represented from the distance from here to here on the graph. Just take it a little bit further. So the red distance here represents the cosine. On the graph, it's represented from here down to the axis of perpendicular distance. So therefore, we can see at this particular point here, the distance it becomes very small. And at that particular point, 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 is actually equal to zero. Now, because we are measuring negative distance, because this is the origin, and remember the angles are always measured uh, anticlockwise from the positive x-axis, this distance here is actually negative. And therefore, this distance here is represented by this distance here below the axis. So we carry on until we get to this particular point again. And now we see that this distance here is in fact minus one. So at 180 degrees, halfway around the circle, pi radians, this is minus one. Going into the third quadrant, this distance again is negative. So this distance here is represented by this distance here. Until we get to three quarters of the way around, 180, uh, 270 degrees or 3 pi by 2 radians, we can see that the horizontal distance is in fact zero. Now going into this quadrant, the fourth quadrant, we can see that the distance is now positive because it's on this side of the x-axis. This is the distance here. It's the same as the red distance here. Okay, so that gives me And then we're going back to 360 degrees, it gets to 1. And this is the graph of cosine. So you need to remember these graphs, okay? At 0 degrees and 360 degrees, cosine is equal to 1. At pi or 180 degrees, cosine is equal to minus 1. And then at 90 or pi by 2, and 3 pi by 2 to 70 degrees, cosine is equal to zero. Again, I shall attach the GeoGebra applet to this video. I hope you have understood and I thank you very much for watching.